Aslan Retro. With Coco too. Yeah, that was uh, an idea that uh, I did not pursue. Now, uh, there's no breakfast litter tray bullshit today. Because I happen to wake up at the time that whichever cat does a stinky poo uh, once every other day just happened to do it. So, pretty much had to do it as soon as I woke up. Because I just, yeah, that one, not one of these stupid ones that I can't get rid of. These should not be on Game Base 64, fuck off. So, keep dropping the bloody roll up, fuck off. So, we're going to be reviewing the original PB&J. Peanut butter and je jam, sorry, not jelly. Uh, you have uh, jelly with ice cream, not with peanut butter. And Americans ain't going to know what the hell I'm talking about. But that's not my problem. Uh, the word uh, jam and jelly existed before America was founded. So therefore I'm correct. Uh, go on in trainer. Uh, yes. 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 Ooh. Yes. Yes. One, two, five. That oh, actually works. Bloody me. So, we're going to be reviewing the original PPJ, which is called Tahini and Pekmezini on a flat brick. Tahini is basically sesame seed uh, peanut butter. Uh, well, the peanut butter I buy, which is 100% peanuts. Um, I don't like this music. I'll come back to the uh, music in a second. So I think this is, well flatbreads are from the Middle East, I can't be bothered to uh, search on Google for when uh, this Pekmez stuff was made. It's basically uh, grape molasses. Um, and it's not sweet, it actually tastes like tamarind if you taste it on its own. And tahini does not taste nice on its own. Um, Flatbread tastes like flatbread, obviously. But when you combine tahini with this stuff, which actually tastes like um, a red or black grape jam mixed with molasses, you know, regular tinned molasses, you can get that anywhere in the world. Um, that's what it actually tastes like when you mix it with a tahini. So, I don't know if tahini costs more or less than molasses. Well, anyway, I think the uh, flatbreads are a bit overdone. Oh well, we were having uh, fried uh, köftes, Cypriot style, but 100% vegan, not minced up. Uh, intelligent animal, thank you, I don't need that shit. Um, Well, the bread is rock hard because I did uh, cook the uh, flatbreads a bit too much yesterday because I was going to have them. But I had them in a sandwich with real chilli sauce from Cyprus. Wish I'd looked after my teeth better. Or cook the flatbread a bit less. One or the other. Yeah, that works really well. So the first people to have this is probably the people that invented this uh, grape molasses. I don't know if the Mongols would have done that. Um, don't know if Arabic countries invented it. Um, Greece, maybe? 
Turkey didn't exist until uh, was it the 1800s? Or did they exist in somewhere else and they just took over that part of the world? You know what? I don't know. They're called Anatolians anyway. So that's a... Uh, hmm. So yeah, I reckon if you got real peanut butter, the stuff that costs five quid a jar and is made only from peanuts, not like, uh, you know, 33% uh, actual peanuts pounded up, combined with loads of fucking uh, palm sugar and palm oil and all that bollock. If you add that with grape jam, which is a classic combination for American PB&J, Would, would taste similar actually, isn't that amazing? Hmm. Now of course the kofta is uh, invented by the Mongols. You may dispute that all you like, but I'm not even going to tell you how they made it. <laughs> But yeah, köftes are uh, basically army food. They're like um, meat sticks without the stick. <laughs> it's just like bits of meat. But it is actually minced, well, ground beef, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you ha how that actually happened. But anyway, that that is the father of all burgers. A köfte is a burger. It's the first burger. They also invented pizza as well. No, actually, they weren't there. I think, uh, yeah, the first pizzas were by the Turks. Now, because the uh, cheese is optional, uh, people say it's not the, the first pizza, but basically it's a meat feast pizza with optional cheese. But I think um, I think the original the original PB and J, which is just tahini, pekmezini, and um, a flatbread spread onto a flatbread, those two things, and rolled up. I think it's a success for a, a post. Um, Post doing everything for the, the cat's uh, morning breakfast. So how good was it really? Seeing as you don't have taste o vision, because uh, technology now seems to be uh, fixated on uh, the fact that uh, everything that's invented now has to fucking connect to an app or the internet or have a smartphone involved yeah well and they can't make lighters at work yeah that was a nice breakfast i uh, i heartily recommend that However, if you are actually on a diet, which I'm not, because I've lost about four stone now, I think I'm only one stone away from being the correct medical, medical weight for my height, which means that, that would make you technically healthy. If you never smoked, drank, or uh, ate that crap in the first place, and you held that weight uh, from the age of about 16, 15, when I was uh, this high. Never you mind how tall I am. I'm taller than most, but not the tallest person in the room usually. So. Mute.
buttons a bit weird on this remote. However, this remote probably weighs a quarter of a kilo. It's brilliant. You could probably knock out a burglar with this remote. Although my preferred choice of defending my uh, property from uh, unwelcome intruders, stroke trespassers, stroke criminals that should fuck off, would probably be a full-size kebab knife, I would have to say. So, you know, it's not illegal to have a kebab knife in your house, and uh, I'd like to see a burglar without a gun try anything against someone with a, a kebab knife, especially one that's been modified to have the hilt of a sword. Oops! I don't know how I'll do that, but... Uh, So, I don't think you're allowed to touch them things. They like little green mines. So you've got turds, but the graphics are not shit. They're actually all right. You know, there's a bit of wobble, there's a uh, sprite smooth with the background. It's not weird game. But I think that's my TV. Like I said, there's some post-processing bullshit game. Now, this is a game Ocean tries to sell to me on the Amiga with uh, 16 color Atari SD graphics, so they can fuck off. I tried before I buy, did, whatever you want to call it, aka I put it on a fucking crack disc. So it is a bit misleading because you can walk through all them bits. But this is a game, if you actually wanted this game, and you had a C64 and an Amiga, you could try the C64 version, and spend the other, the other 15 quid on uh, a nice girlfriend. So it's pretty easy, is that it? Yeah, it's very easy. So that's like the start level. Graphics are nice. Sound is close enough to the arcade. And by nice graphics, I mean the background. Um, the turds look a bit weird, I don't think they're meant to be turds. Turds give birth to little uh, green M&Ms that come to life. Who said this is not an original game, eh? CJ's elephant antics being uh, advertised in the background there. The CJ games are great, they're scrolling platform games for a couple of quid, few quid from uh, Codemasters on the C64, they're brilliant. <laughs> they're, they're better than most uh, platform games on the Amiga, costing 25, 30 quid. Stupid big. How do I get up there then? This would be crap. Oh, you have to jump on the balloons, that's what it is. I knew there was something to do with the balloon. And you've got to push up. Right. So we're actually in the wrong area already. Ah well. So it's a bit like poo yarn in that respect. But it's not poo. It actually plays absolutely fine. It's a perfectly acceptable conversion. For the uh, C64. If you actually like the arcade machine. See, I'm getting confused with these backgrounds, but, uh... I'm sure you're supposed to rescue some uh, little shits or something. Military operation to get this lighter to work out, fuck's sake. And I lost the other one. Why is it always a good lighter that goes missing? Hey, you know what? I just remembered I bought my dad a lighter for Christmas. It was a gold one with a little round sort of jeweled uh, button for the um, for the piezoelectric activation. Oh yeah, they can't shoot me, so I've got the trainer option. So I'm not really testing the, the gameplay as such, because I know it will play fine if the game engine works fine. But nothing weird with that. 
you know, not really reviewing uh, New Zealand story itself. I know how New Zealand story plays. Right, okay, so you can't go through there, and you can't go up there. So, you know, but like I said, you either like this game or you don't. And if you had a C64 and you did like this game, uh, would you want it? Is really what this is about. You know, this will cost you a lot of money to import for your PC engine. I'm sure this was on the PC engine. Don't know where that thing is. I have to get on it. Oh crap. Messing about with that bloody roll up for you. There's yeah, still about 20% um, of the uh, gas left in the light.